So good morning, everybody. My name is Hetri Parekh, and I am the regional lead for the national charity uh, Seva Day, which is currently uh, led by uh, Deepak Pathak. Uh, could we go to the next slide, please? Yeah. Um, what is Seva? Seva is um, Seva means service, service without uh, any expectations in return, service uh, serving the community selflessly. So it's a universal uh, concept, which is you be kind to the family to the community around you it's based it's a hindu inspired charity and the main principle is vasudeva kutumbakam which means the whole world is one family and we serve the whole world in a, in a selfless manner in whatever ways we can these are the three main strands of seva day we bring uh, we bring a little joy where none exists we help relieve hardship and poverty and we help the environment um could we go to the next slide please uh, when COVID-19 started, um, Seva Day got together to respond, various volunteers got together from 30 odd regions throughout the country to respond to this pandemic and to meet the needs of the local community. And they came together with a help a neighbor campaign. And there were four strands to this campaign. Um, next slide, please. The first slide being, the, the, sorry, the first strand being replenishing the food banks. So throughout the uh, country, all volunteers got together to replenish the, local, the food banks in, in their local areas. This was the main focus because when the pandemic um, started, food bank shelves were empty. So we decided to support um, the local food banks in our area. Next slide, please. The second strand of the campaign was Spread Some Joy, where we connected with the um, elderly people in care homes, send them pictures, stories, poems uh, written by children because they were, uh, they were isolated and they couldn't go out anywhere. The whole concept was to spread some joy. Um, the third strand um, of the project, go to the next slide, please. Um, <clears throat> is uh, caring for our carers with, where we helped uh, frontline um, NHS workers uh, uh, with food, with um, any, any uh, um, PPE, with hand sanitizers, with Easter eggs, any, anything which will make their life easier whilst they were saving lives. Um, next slide, please. Um, this is this is a special project that we did in Nottingham to support the uh, local uh, hospital here. Um, they wanted to make uh, respite rooms for the staff there. So uh, Seva Day in Nottingham got together. They arranged for these chairs, these cushions, a lot of furniture, um, etc., to have this respite room for uh, the people working in the hospitals there. Next slide, please. The impact in Nottingham in the last one year has been tremendous. To just give you a bit of a flavor of it, we have helped 10 food banks um, at least on a fortnightly basis, and we've delivered 50 tons of food in the last one year. Over 25,000 hot meals have been cooked by uh, the Seva Day community kitchens. Our temples, they have stepped forward to cook these meals for our frontliners, homeless people, uh, needy people, and we still continue cooking those meals uh, less for the frontliners now, and the focus is more about people in the community who needs it. We've helped 14 schools to date, uh, not with food, with stationery, with books um, throughout the last one year. Uh, Christmas 2020, we filled up 900 shoe boxes, and in, we were the peak of the we were all kind of uh, had to wear our masks. We could not get many people in that hall. We had to socially distance, but we managed to distribute 900 uh, shoe boxes um, to various people in the community. Uh, February half term, we distributed 172 food parcels. And last year we distributed 1,483 Easter eggs uh, packs of popcorn and this year we'll be still doing our Easter campaign with 1,400 eggs distributed to over 30 charities, schools, community groups, faith groups, etc. in Nottingham and Nottinghamshire and 300 art and craft bags because it's not always about the food, it's, it's about the experiences that children need, it's about um, what else could we do to make a difference in their lives. So we also did art and craft bags uh, this year. Um, next slide please. Besides that, we, 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 we did not forget our pets because a lot of people were coming to food banks with not having any um, um, 
money to feed their pets. So we managed to get two pallets of pet food uh, for various food banks um, in and for Nottinghamshire County Council. We're very proud to say that to date, we our Spread Some Joy campaign has reached 23 care homes and two hospitals in Nottingham City and Nottinghamshire. We have had 750 activity packs, which have been distributed to over 12 schools in city and county. 95 international students who were, who were supported as part of this pandemic, we still continue to support them. Many of them are away from home, they've lost their jobs, and they're still struggling financially, and we continue to support them. We've had four MPs, 10 councillors, over 100 volunteers involved today. We are very um, uh, lucky, we are very grateful to be supported by a number of communities, such as the um, uh, Westbridgeford uh, Methodist Church, where we had a Christmas campaign, where we were packing all our Christmas boxes. We've got communities working together, which is another um, local grassroots organization in Nottingham. We've got the temples, Hindu temples, Saidam. We've had Rotary coming forward to support us. And overall, in the last uh, one year, uh, we have liaised with over 30 community groups. And I know I know this figure because we just completed our, our Easter campaign on Saturday when we were packing everything. And I had the spreadsheet in front of me saying, where, where are these eggs going? Where are these art and craft uh, bags going? And I counted and we literally had liaised over 30 groups, charities who had come forward saying, could save our day support us, please. Um, next um, uh, slide, please. Um, the next slide will basically show you some uh, pictures. So on the top left, you will see our Christmas campaign, our Christmas uh, helpers, our elves out there packing all with our masks on. You will see some of the uh, pet food out there where county council came and collected in their big trucks. That's our Easter campaign from Saturday, uh, where we all again got together packing um, uh, the arts and crafts and 1400 Easter eggs. Uh, that's the half term um, uh, food parcels that we did for schools. And the last picture on the right is um, we did the 750 um, activity packs and each activity uh, bag had contents worth 15 pounds and we made 750 of them um, uh, as part of Seva Day. Uh, next slide, please. <clears throat> And here are some photos. Um, uh, the first photo is where we are in Haven Church Center, where we are distributing the activity packs. It's a food bank, and they support the local communities. We're there with our MP, uh, uh, Darren Henry. Then we'll be supporting the Friary, um, uh, Trinity Schools, Snenton, uh, Salvation Army. We've been one of the uh, top donors in terms of food. Uh, uh, do, um, and then we've got the crime commissioner um, uh, out there who was uh, helping us to cook some food and pack it for uh, the, the waste services uh, in the city and county. Uh, on, on the top right, we have our volunteers out on a very, very cold day. Uh, it was raining, it was cold, and we were serving, we, we, we were serving food in town center. And uh, the picture on the right is where, again, distribution of this activity packs to schools in uh, inner city areas of Nottingham. Can we have the next slide, please? Uh, this was just up until COVID. Post-COVID, we are not going to stop with this. We are going to continue with uh, our various community kitchens where we continue to cook 350 meals, which are distributed to YMCA, framework housing, and vulnerable people, again, in the inner city and some areas of county. We will continue serving hot meals once a week, every day, every Sunday, from five o'clock to seven o'clock um, in town center. We will continue to replenish food banks at least on a fortnightly basis. Uh, we, are we, we are continuing to work with schools. So schools come and tell us what they need, what support they want. So we'll be supporting them with food parcels, books. Like uh, a few weeks ago, we supported three schools in Nottingham with over 325 books as part of World Book Day. Um, we also will be supporting various other charities. You've got less than a minute, Hetri. Yes. Less than a minute, please. Yes. We'll be supporting them with perishable uh, food, a redistribution of food to uh, minimize food wastage. We'll continue our annual Christmas shoebox, summer activities pack campaign, and the Easter eggs campaign. Um, next, please. And no. my last slide, so I'm ending on time. So I just in terms of faith, all I can say to summarize is uh, we are a Hindu inspired charity with volunteers from different faiths, including Sikhs, Christians, Jews and Muslims, 
serving people across different faiths, cultures, ethnicities. And I had to actually sit back and think about it when Harriet asked me to come and talk about this. And I said, Harriet, I've never thought about it, about um, us being a faith-based charity or um, how, how are we playing an important role? And, and, and actually, when I was sitting down and doing this presentation, I just realized in the last one year, we have been doing so much uh, so much work where different faith communities have been involved and um, this is our journey so far we're not going to stop we're not going to stop nationally we will continue because it's a national organization but in Nottingham we will we will continue in our own small way and uh, that's the end of my 10 minutes uh, any questions and thank you for listening to me